Here is a mural design by Bruce Harris. And we were down putting the mural project together in the basement of Doc Rick's lab. The fellow that owned this building to my right here approached us and wanted a mural on this wall before all these staircases and things were put up. And uh, <clears throat> we got done what we had to do. And then we went up to Bruce's house and he sat down and I witnessed this. And I described it as two bottles of wine, a bacon lettuce tomato sandwich, and a bowl of six bean soup. And Bruce had designed this, drew it, and it was done in two hours. I mean, think about that. And the underlying factor with a lot of people when they see pictures and paintings and drawings, Bruce's first year at Berkeley, you see Berkeley, he was an architect. So this is actually what it really looked like from this perspective back here. All the canneries, Flora's bar, the girls tanning themselves after a hard night's work in the brothel. This is called Steinbeck's World. John Steinbeck, his dog Toby. Here comes Ed up from the lab with a bag of beer. Gonna meet Susie getting off the train for the first time. Here are the Okies coming in looking for work. Mac and the boys from Cannery Rose, from John's uh, novel, Cannery Row, and the frogs. Of course, Flora's girls signing themselves. George and Lenny of Mice and Men walking down the tracks. And this is what it kind of looked like. Steinbeck's world. Like they said, the only thing you can't capture in all the pictures, drawings, paintings, writings, was the stink. <laughs> <laughs> this place stunk, man. <laughs> it was nothing but canneries and cats. And that's the story about this mural design.